Hi and welcome uh, back to Solar FPV. My name is Anas, and today we're going to be looking at a product that I got. Um, it's a kind of a what is it? 2.5 inch frame, uh, toothpick frame. You could call it. I don't know. It's not super light. So anyway, it's from uh, Liaco, and I've actually never heard about this company, but. Um, if you're interested, you can go and uh, look at their website, www.liacorc.com, right there. Um, I got this uh, frame of Wish. Uh, yes, Wish are still selling some drone products. Um, not that I'm affiliated or anything, but I thought we could take a look at this frame. It comes with uh, metal standoffs, M2 metal screws, hex screws, which is very nice. Um, it's very rigid, so not a lot of flex there. Um, it's got some uh, side plates for mounting your camera, but uh, when I've screwed this whole thing together, I don't know if you can hear it, but these uh, mounting plates are l loose, even though the they're sandwiched in. So they can move, which means if you mount your camera to this, it could produce quite a lot of jello in the uh, video feed and video footage if you're intending to um, <clears throat> film with it and actually upload films. It's got a very, very narrow um, um, like it's very narrow in between these two standoffs in the middle, so uh, getting a camera uh, in here is going to be maybe a little bit difficult. Um, but I guess you could do it with some 3D printed parts for the uh, standoffs and instead of using the uh, side plates, which is the solution that I'm going to go with, I think. So I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be shopping for parts to make this kind of this build. And I hope China is doing better and soon be over the coronavirus and uh, be able to produce these amazing things that we need for our hobby. Um, it can take a 65 millimeter prop from HQ. I've uh, tried that. It uh, so yeah. So I guess it's a good contender for a 65 millimeter. Uh, it's um, 65 millimeter prop quad. You know, um, it's also got uh, 16 by 16 mounting holes in the bottom, and 20 by 20 these little slots uh, or slits or whatever you call it. So that um, that's very nice. Uh, it's not bad at all. Um, I'm not too sure what I think about the side plates because they're wobbly and I don't know if I could do a fix for it maybe but yeah I just thought I'd show you this it came with uh, metal screws and these metal standoffs at the back they're very close together but I guess uh, it's that's okay um, uh, there's enough space to be able to put your power thing in between and you could zip tie it very nicely um, it, it doesn't have, it doesn't look like it has anything for mounting the battery in any specific way. So you could top mount the battery or bottom mount the battery, whatever you like. Um, it, uh, does look like it's an okay quality carbon. Uh, it's not been chamfered or anything, so you might want to chamfer it before, uh, you put it together. Uh, what else can I say about it? Um, it wasn't too expensive, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, it seems very solid. So uh, except for the side plates, of course, it seems very solid. So yeah, I just thought I would make a little review about this uh, this frame from Liaco, which I've never seen before. And hopefully this will become a really nice uh, build sometime in the future in springtime. Um, as you all know, parts from China are maybe shipping, maybe not. It could take quite a while because they've got a real problem there with the coronavirus. So um, a lot of places have closed down just to be in quarantine. So there's, uh, it could take a while until I can get parts at least to build this. I'm going to need a flight stack, obviously, and I'm also going to need uh, some motors and um, a nano camera for this. I think that's going to be the best option. Um, let's see if I've got a camera here that will fit in with it. This is an old camera. 
that has an uh, SD card slot on the back. It doesn't have a VTX, so it has to be connected to the VTX and everything. Um, and I mean, this is going to be, I mean, this doesn't even fit. I can get the lens through, right? So, yeah, so it's going to have to be a nano camera or otherwise you're going to have to figure out how to 3D print some parts to mount your camera. Um, as long as the lens can go through, I think you'll be okay. Um, yeah, um, not much else to say about this product. It's uh, something I haven't seen before. Um, I quite like the shape of the frame. It looks really nice. Um, I think it will make for a really good quad. So, yeah, that's... Uh, the, uh, let's just measure some of these. The bottom plate is three, well, 2.5 millimeters. The top plate is 1.5 millimeters, and the side plates are as well 1.5 millimeters. Um, motor post to motor post, we've got. Oh, this is kind of hard to do, but let's see. I really suck at this. Um, 12.65? 12 point, 12.6 12 centimeters? 12 centimeters and 6 millimeters. To be correct, from motor post to motor post. Pretty much. Uh, it has a uh, hole pattern that is for... What have we got here? The spacing between the holes of the motors is uh, six millimeters, about six millimeters, yeah. So eleven oh three motors would uh, fit on here with the obviously the four screw ones, um, yeah. Um, that's it. Great little frame, good little kit. Very happy with it, except of course. The side plates. So, if Liako, if you watch this video, uh, you might want to just um, do something with the side plates. Um, maybe over dimension them a little bit so that when you actually screw it together, it will uh, it will fit snug. Um, I'm not sure I've mounted the side plates right, but I think I have. Um, it's hard to say. It doesn't come with any instructions whatsoever of how to put together the the frame so you got to know what you're doing but i mean it's pretty straightforward there are only four standoffs and a bottom plate and a top plate and then the side plates so yeah i hope you like this video subscribe for more uh, related fpv related content and uh, drone stuff and as always fly hard cheers